Hey everybody, I hope the audios are right in this. I'm still trying to get my setup sorted out. Uh, mic placement's a problem. The last one it was very. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, I have had so many things come to my mind in the past week or so, and I don't really feel like I've made hardly any videos because I've been really busy in the garage making clocks and stuff. But things have calmed down now because I've got the chase clocks made. Things I had a deadline on that, and then they got delayed because of my back and stuff. Uh, but they're done, they are sent off to him, and I've actually nearly finished for, uh, editing the video from that, which you'll see in the future, so that's cool. So I'm going to be making on bike videos more regularly now, although I do need to get my head deep into making some more clocks. And this is one of the first things I need to talk about, and that is a huge thank you to a man, Bulldog Gaz, uh, YouTube channel, I'm going to link him in the description. Uh, he sent me a load of sprockets and stuff from Germany in the past and then recently he was coming over from Germany and he brought a load with him because it was way too many to send. Um, so many sprockets, so many discs, nice cool different designs that I've not had before. Um, and some of these are quite rusty but in the past that would have been a problem. But I now know of a way of doing something to these that makes them look amazing. Um, so it's not a problem, so I can, I can definitely use those, which is awesome. So I'm, I've actually got to, um, when there's some nice weather for a couple of days and it's dry outside, I need to take every, all my scrap stuff outside, lay it all out on the grass and just reorganise it, because I have so much stuff at the moment. It's awesome. So Bulldog Gaz, thank you so much. As I say, go and check out his channel. Right, quickly, while I'm here, because in between filming the bit that you've just been watching and making this bit, I've had a couple of parcel arrive. I thought I'd quickly open, because I... Don't know when the next Metalworks video is going to be. Hold on. This is one I ordered. It's just some welding shrouds I ordered. Right, the one that was actually sent to me by one of you guys, obviously, because it's a PO box. It's not very heavy, so I don't know what this is. What on earth? For attention of Reno? Oh my god. Hi Spicy, front fork springs and spacers from a CBR 1100XX. That's the Blackbird, isn't it? I nearly bought one of those. Uh, I've used one of the spacers as a drift. Thought they would be useful for the metalworks and it saves me a trip to the tip. I've got a front and rear sprocket waiting for you until you need them. Awesome, as I say, I've literally, I've got so much stuff at the moment that I'm going to, yeah, I'm kind of okay. I'm getting to the point where I need to get through some of the things that I've got, but I'm going to be going really hard at it soon to try and make just loads of clocks. I just want to really just get through it uh, and get a load made so I've got loads of stocks out there um, so I can do more riding videos rather than just going to Tesco's which is what you all want anyway. Um, here something for Reno so she doesn't feel left out. Nice little very thin wall steel tubes. Ah, and a really nice sized spring. I could even use that as a way of connecting between a base and a clock. Though it might bend a bit but I don't know, thank you. Um, I don't know if I should open this or not because it's for Reno. Although she's not going to see this video until it's after it. I, I think it'll be okay. She'll be fine with it. <laughs> it's a 90 degree valve adapter because she was having an absolute nightmare, nightmare with her pumping her tyres up. But wasn't that on her CBF 125? Because you don't own that no more. Right, well thank you very much to Bulldog Guys and Lord Bilius. Um, Lord Bilius, I will make sure that gets to Reno. As I say, I think it only affected on her CBF, which she hasn't got anymore, but should it be a problem on the current bike, I'm sure she'll be very grateful for it. Go and check his channel out, because he's done so much to help me. It was a very English exchange. I felt like I should have given him something in return, and I said, well, you know, what's your favorite tipple? I thought I'd get my bottle of, a bottle of drink or something, and he was, I don't know, I'm, I'm more of a tea man. And he can't get Tetley over in Germany, apparently. So, uh, yeah, I, I gave him 440 tea bags. So I guess I'm now an international tea trader. I like adding that to my CV. <laughs> but yeah, huge shout to Bulldog Gaz. Anyway, moving on to other things I wanted to talk about. Uh, oh, get, let's get to the first one. I'm going to be making an email address. No. I'm going to be making an email address uh, post making this video, actually. So you'll have to find it in the description. But... What I'm going to do, because I want to help support little channels a bit more. I do it anyway, but I thought of a cool little way of doing it. It's not that, well, it's not a new idea. Plenty of people do it. It's like a subscriber spotlight, but basically, um, I want you to make a 30 second video, up to 30 seconds, can be less, uh, promoting your channel that you then upload unlisted 
uh, to your YouTube channel and then through the email address send me the link and then I can download that and put it into my video and I'll give you a link in the description as well. It won't be in every single video, it'll just be when I've got time for it in a video, I will shove it in. I and mean, if I've got plenty of them, I may add one to every single video, but it's just to say, I thought it'd be a cool little thing just to add into the end of the video, you know, uh, to help some smaller channels as things are getting so tough. It's I know how tough it is for me, so to be able to give a bit of support uh, that way would be good. Do you think that's a good idea? Are you okay with a 30 second segment at the end of the video where it just promotes another channel? I think it'd be a good thing. Uh, oh, the only thing I'll say is in your channel trailer, please don't use copyright material or music, and please don't swear overly. Uh, music you can get from the YouTube library, and then that's completely fine. Do whatever you want, just make the video about you. And as I say, I'm going to have made that email address, and I'll have it linked in the description. Okay, so the next thing, uh, my Xbox One I bought. I haven't played, you know, endlessly on it, like I think a lot of people thought I was going to do. I don't have time for that. I've been mean, just an hour or two there but on the weekend I did actually finish complete the the um, Battlefield 1 campaign mode my god haven't they shortened those things down it was great I liked it you know it was cool little mini missions as it, as it seemed to me different storylines with some real history in there it was a, it was a good way of representing history to a younger generation um, but I do feel like it was very much less than what they've tried to do in the past but then it's like higher quality for a short amount of time i can i can understand that people are, are all about the multiplayer anyway and my god the multiplayer is awesome but going from hardline on a 360 to you know that those graphics is just amazing um and the gameplay is really good but my god that many players does make it difficult i'm having to relearn maps and relearn it so i'm pretty freaking terrible right now but i do want to ask a question I have an Xbox One, right? So that means I can Twitch stream directly from it, I believe. I have a headset that works my Xbox, so that covers my mic. And I assume that you can plug in a webcam and use it for, for picture in picture for Twitch streaming, right? Is that possible? What do you guys know about that? With, as I specifically with the Xbox One, let me know because I might well do that. It might give me the answer to my wanting to do some live stuff. You know, people like games anyway. We can, do, we can do some funny stuff. Maybe. I need to just work out the logistics and the time and all that sort of stuff. But I, th I think that's probably doable every now and then. And you can watch me fail miserably. <laughs> when this weather doesn't keep raining and we get some nice days when I'm actually like available to not be working, uh, I will be doing some rides to some distant places. I have uh, a review video in mind I'm going to be doing with Hazelmere, so that should be interesting. There may even be two, it depends if they get the bike that I want by that point. We'll see. So this is kind of an apology for being a little bit absent and not having so many videos out, though I say that and then I look at my upload history and I'm like, that's not too bad. That's alright. That's part of the reason why I decided to get an Xbox, because I've been working so much. It's like I really do have to take some time to do things that aren't related to work. And I always find that I l slowly tip back to doing worky related stuff. So if I get on the Xbox for a bit, it's like, yeah, no, I really am just doing me. I know getting Twitch means that I can somehow incorporate those again. And then it's like, well, now you're not, but it's different. It's still playing games. And I don't have to edit it. Okay, well, I think that is everything I wanted to update you on. Um, and speak to you about and ask you questions on. In regards to the sort of subscriber spotlight thing, um, one thing I'll add in is that I'm gonna put use the videos in the order that I receive them, and that way there's, I'm not gonna give any preference to anyone, I'm just gonna, you know, first come, first serve. But if I don't deem the video to be okay on my channel, I will contact you and explain to you why that wasn't the case, and then you can um, maybe remake it. <laughs> Bikes fun. Oh, and lastly, I just want to give a thanks to all my supporters through the Metalworks, through watching my videos, you know, all of you guys, people who've um, helped support me through PayPal because, you know, people do every month and I just, I feel like I should be saying thank you to you every single time because I really do appreciate it. But I know for many of you, you just say, just keep making the videos and uh, I'm happy. <laughs>
Anyway, I'm gonna go for a die, and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye. This channel is made possible by the support of the audience. Please check out the links in the description and all the different ways you can help support the channel. Any help is greatly appreciated.